Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday, the 19th of February. Day off the markets yesterday. Pretty difficult to go for those sh shorter term intraday breakouts or swings on the fifth wave uh, when we've had a long weekend. Futures at the moment very flat, as you would expect. Uh, after a long weekend, uh, gold pushing, oil pushing but we are flat on futures at the moment as i make this video so today i'm going to look at something else i'm going to look at ibm i'm looking at i'm looking for a breakout here on ibm this is the daily time frame i'm using our elliott wave indicator suite for the think or swim trading platform also available for ninja trader trade station and multi charts so i've also got my black box breakout indicator suite on here from tradethefifth.com as well I'm just going to combine these two a little bit do a little bit of multiple time frame strategy here and see where we are with with IBM right now because we've just had the big gap up for earnings after earnings we've consolidated and then we're looking like moving further up so how I framed IBM on the daily time frame at this moment in time so as you can see uh, going from the top left We've had a one, two, three, four, five. Our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite has identified that, that move. We can see this Wave 5 low here. It busts through our target level, and it does sometimes do that. Uh, so those traders that got in on that fifth wave move made quite a bit of money. Uh, but it did find support just under $140. Then we went pretty much uh, corrective. OK, but then we started a, a longer term bearish trend where our wave one tipped this same zone that I've drawn in on my chart. We've had the wave two, the wave three, the wave four and the fifth wave hit our target zone, which it does more times than often. And then since then, we started to move up and then we've had the gap through earnings. And now we are testing this same support level again which could present a really good potential um, breakout to the upside one of the things we look at so if we just zoom in a little bit here this current bearish trend it, it's not it's not a it's an ugly looking trend but it's still a bearish trend to break this initially we've got to go through this wave four pivot which it did when we gapped up through earnings the next critical phase, if it breaks this wave one pivot, we can absolutely say that this bearish move is over and potentially we're in a new bullish trend. As you can see now, so let's zoom in even further. Since our fifth wave target was hit on our indicator suite here, uh, we've had the move up. We had the gap up on earnings. We went pretty flat for a couple of weeks there. But last week we started to increase in volume and started to push into this zone. So we've got a potential trade here. Now, there's a lot of things that I'm using to help me understand how strong this bullish momentum is. First of all, on our Elliott Wave indicator suit, we've got this false breakout stochastic here. The yellow line on the top there denotes a really strong bullish trend. That's what we're seeing right now. Secondly, on our black box breakout indicator, we've got a multiple time frame dot cloud. If I zoom back out again, you can see we pretty much in this bearish range, and let, except for this pullback here, being red across all the time frames, all the way up to the monthly time frame there. And just recently, over the last few days, we've gone to all green with the green squares on the top there, denoting strong bullish trend. Then we can see by the candles. So a candles on the black box breakout indicator are slightly different in that they're colored differently. So green candles are up candles, but they're up candles with increased volume from the candle before. This is a daily time frame from the day before. Up candles are gray as well, which denote lower volume. So as you can see, after the big gap up here, we had a big green day that was uh, increased volume. Then we had a little blue indecision doji, so that was a down day, but with lower volume. But then you see how the volume really dropped off on these up days. So we, we the price action was up, but the volume was really contracting, you know, indicating potential um, 
you know, range bound period right there, which happened. We got a couple of green days here, which tried to push up. Uh, then we got the dividends gap down, normal reaction. Then we got uh, the a new sort of support level, shorter term support level formed. And then we started to move up still with low volume. But then we got two consecutive days, gap ups, green volume, increased volume each day. We got a rest day uh, Thursday, if you like, but a profit taking consolidation, but with low volume because it's blue. And then Friday, we got a higher high, higher low gap up, green candle, increased volume. We're looking for that momentum to continue. We are not interested in this trade until we break 140, which is above that wave one pivot of the left here. OK. That low there was 139.90. Also above this wave one pivot, that low was down around about 139.70. So we're going to clear all of that mess, if you like, all of that support resistance zone. We've got good confirmation by combining both of our indicator suites on this thinkorswim platform. We've got good bullish momentum here. We are going to get a wave four pullback at some stage. So. For those that just like to trade that fifth wave, and that's what Trade the Fifth is all about, we can wait for that wave four pullback to happen. And it could happen anytime. This support uh, resistance zone here could really be too much for this, and some profit taker could come back to test these lows into our automated probability zones here. But if it doesn't and it breaks through, we've got the breakout, and that wave three could continue all the way up to 154 here. This is where the next resistance zone is. We've got fresh air. This is where the previous wave two is. So if we break the 140, I'm looking for a trade, for a breakout. 140.19, I've got my entry. 131.75 is a stop loss. So it's below this recent pullback here, this short term support level, because I'm not interested if it pulls back any further. If it does, it's gonna be a wave four and I'll wait to get in the fifth wave move. But for those people that say, how do you trade this third wave? This is it, combining our breakout indicator and our Elliott wave indicator suite and the multiple time frame strategy that I use on, um, on our elite training course to really uh, to look at that. So what I've done is I've gone down to the four hour. If I look at this as well, so if I go to the four hour right here, in fact, I've got that on a different chart. So again, when I'm looking at the four hour, I'm looking where where's the wave one on the four hour for this current bearish trend? It's right in there. OK, we're going to be above that as well. Let's look at the weekly time frame. This is just very basic stuff, uh, but I just wanted to show you that um, there is a strategy using our Elliott wave indicator suite to understand exactly where this stock is. So when we look on the weekly here, we are looking for a wave four failure above this wave one pivot. Wave fours fail when they go through this wave one pivot on the weekly as well. So this is really, really getting towards the stage now. We've confirmed on the weekly, the daily and the four hour time frame that this potential breakout to the upside is looking really strong, high probability. Now, if this holds this support level, this wave four holds, we could come short all the way down to here. But at this moment in time, everything's pointing to the fact that we could break out to the upside. Um, so, you know, time will tell. Uh, we could we could push up through there in the next couple of days. So my my signal for today is I've done a lot of work here to look at IBM. And it's one of those if this happens. So if we break 140, we close above 140. Look at the price action on these days. There's no need to rush into a trade as soon as it goes through 140. If we break it and close above 140, then look for an entry above the high of that particular day uh, the next day. At this moment in time, I've put that 140.19 as an entry as a, as a good point. You know, above that, we've still got a risk to reward of 1 to 1 1.6 to the $154 mark. I like a minimum of risk to reward of 1 to 1 1.6. So everything stacks up right. If we can get a close above 140, look for a, look for an entry above the high of that day. 
or if you want to go um, go for bust when it breaks through 140.19 get in go long stop loss 131.75 and the targets 154 okay so that's it for today have a great trading day speak to you all tomorrow